Scientific investigation of the natural world has shown us how the universe began about 14 billion years ago in the Big Bang, how the 92 natural elements are forged, how stars and planets are formed, how our solar system was created around 5 billion years ago, the large-scale structure of the universe and much more. Virtually everything has its theoretical limits. We as human species often compare ourselves with Mother Nature, like the who wins the actual fight between Mike Tyson and Silverback Gorilla, and we are indeed a part of nature, but for the sake of this video and for fun in this quarantine times, we will talk about the possible edge of extreme nature and staggering human abilities and how nature and human species compete. Starting with an interesting theoretical limit is that the maximum height of a natural structure on the earth cannot be greater than 9 to 10 kilometers from the sea level. This value is obtained through a simple detailed calculation based on stress analysis. It's mainly because after a critical height, the base of say any mountain goes under liquid-like flow under enormous pressure due to gravity, thus causing the structure to sink below the critical height. Hawaii's Mount Kea, which is actually the tallest mountain in the world from base to top, stands at 10 kilometers above the Pacific seafloor. The same limit differ if we talk about Mars. This limit is larger on Mars because of relatively weak gravity, and it's the reason why the biggest and the largest mountain in the solar system that stands 20 kilometers above the ground, the Olympus Mount, is on Mars even though Mars is much smaller than Earth. But this is the limit of the nature that doesn't apply to engineering scales of humans. For 3,881 years, the tallest structure built by humans was Egyptian pyramids until Eiffel Tower in 1887, and in just over a century later, we have the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, that stands 870 meters tall. Theoretically, there is no limit on how tall we want to build our structures, but if we take raw materials, there is a catch. For example, if concrete built upwards, it can go up to only 440 meters. This is the maximum length concrete supports its weight. Copper has 2.5 km limit, aluminium has 22 km, and steel has 26 km if it's built skyward. Hypothetically, if space elevator cable is built with light materials, it can go up to 35,800 km up without crushing on its own weight. So we humans have a theoretical advantage on how tall we want to build our structures. When it comes to speed, obviously humans lag way behind the natural world. Speaking of wildlife, the fastest land mammal is a cheetah that can go up to 120 km per hour. And the fastest living thing in the world is the peregrine falcon that can top staggering 390 km per hour while diving to its prey whereas the fastest human ever recorded was 44 km per hour. But if muscles move faster and the time that applies force to the ground shortens, then a human theoretically can reach 64 km per hour, which is enough to escape a grizzly bear and much quicker than T-Rex, which may have reached 29 km per hour during a good jog. One thing that we are physically better than any mammal is our endurance running. Yanis Quoros run 1000 miles in 10 hours, 30 minutes and 36 seconds during the 1988 Ultra Marathon Championship. And this is the endurance that no other creature in the animal kingdom has ever achieved through our observation. Technologically, the fastest thing that we have ever built on land is a supersonic jet car, thrust SSC that holds the record of the fastest car ever going 1228 kilometers per hour. Fastest manned flight in air X-15, which is basically a rocket, can theoretically go 7274 kilometers per hour. And the fastest thing that we have ever built is a scramjet that can go 25,000 kilometers per hour. If you want to learn how scramjets work, I made a video and put it in the pop-up banner if you want to check it out. And well, generally, one of Einstein's famous work that says the fastest object in the universe is a light that travels 300 million meters per second through vacuum and air. Still, through water, light travels 225 million meters per second, and through a diamond, it's slowed by half, going 124 million meters per second. 
When it comes to physical abilities and physiology, the heaviest land animal ever in the history is Titanosaur, weighing in 77,000 kilograms. And the heaviest human ever recorded is John Brower, weighing in 635 kilograms. Absolute unit of a man. When it comes to sound and senses, we humans are far behind the natural world. For example, the highest pitch audible human can perceive is 20 kHz, but bats are 10 times stronger receiving 200 kHz. On the other hand, the loudest voice human can generate is 129 decibels. Still, the loudest living thing in the world is unexpectedly is a blue whale generating 188 decibel noise. And by the way, whales have their own global communication network using echolocation. They are able to get their loud sounds to travel for miles as the sound waves move along in the water and get more power from bouncing off what is found in it. Even our sense of smell is extremely inferior to that of African elephants. Humans have 396 smell receptor genes, whereas the African elephant has 1948. In 1993, Cuba's Javier Sotomayor set a world record of jumping 2.45 meters in the air. This is nothing compared to the greatest jumper on Earth, copods. Copods are a group of small crustaceans that live in salt and fresh waters. Copods' leg muscles produce 10 times more force relative to their body than any other animal. Within a few milliseconds, copods accelerate to a velocity of nearly 1000 body length per second. That's as if, if a human can jump around 1.7 kilometers up, meaning you would effortlessly get to the top of the highest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, or get to the top of Mount Everest with 5 jumps in a matter of seconds, and probably burning yourself in the process. Well, thanks for watching. It was kind of a little different video than usual, and it's just for fun. And if I have missed anything, please feel free to add in the comment section below. Support channel Patreon and subscribe if you didn't. Hit the notification button not to miss upcoming episodes.